Hey guys, this is Dr. Aman Sethiya, your medicine faculty at LN Next. So today uh, we will discuss the chromosome number. So that is, uh, uh, like we will try to study this in a very interesting way. Just uh, be with me. So starting with the first disease, RCC, that is renal cell carcinoma. The most common type of RCC is clear cell carcinoma. So uh, you have to count this with me. So 1, 2, 3. Again 1, 2, 3. So chromosome number for RCC is 3. Simple. So they can ask you a question. What is the chromosome defect in renal cell carcinoma or clear cell carcinoma? It is chromosome 3. Moving to the next one, FAP. FAP means familial adenomatous polyposis. So this is basically a defect that is due to APC gene. Adenomatous polyposis coli gene. So in this condition, what we see? We see the patient will have more than 100 polyps which are 100% uh, pre-malignant. So what you see the main defect here that is there will be more than 100 polyp. So let me count this polyp 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So chromosome number for this condition will be 5. Simple. So FAP is at chromosome number 5. So okay, then we have a condition called PCKD, polycystic kidney disease. So we have two variant of this, two main variant that is ADPCKD and ARPCKD you can see. So if you see ADPCKD, this is uh, the form that we see in adult. So AD means that is seen in ADULT, that is adult. And this autosomal recessive form is the one which we see in infant. So let me write here infant. So generally in this infant type, you will see more uh, fibrosis. So patient will die early. So if you count the spelling of ARPCKD, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let us count infant, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So chromosome number for ARPCKD is 6. So this is infant, this infant will die early. So now what we have, we have ADPCKD. So in general, in general, if you see a case of uh, ADPCKD or PCKD, we call PCKD. As ADPCKD. In general, we assume this. So understand this. Here, what patient will have? Patient, patient will have many cysts in the kidney as well as some cysts. Sometimes you can see in the liver. So polycystic. So let me say polycystic kidney. So this is a general term that we use for ADPCKD. If you count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So chromosome number will be 16. And in general, this is the one we call this as PCKD. Or you can count this 1, 2, 3, 4. So chromosome number is either 16 or 4. So the bottom line is chromosome number for ADPCKD is 16 and 4. For ARPCKD, it is chromosome 6. Moving to next one. Wilms tumor. So tumor, we have two spelling. T-U-M-O-R and T-U-M-O-U-R. So I have written this spelling. So let us count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So chromosome number for Wilms tumor is 11. So Wilms tumor, what is another name? We also call this nephroblastoma. Done? Okay, moving to next, Wilson disease. Wilson disease, hepatolenticular degeneration. Let me count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So chromosome number for Wilson disease will be 13. Simple. Chromosome number for Wilson disease is 13. Okay, next one. Bigger one. Neurofibromatosis. So, if you count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, we have different type of this. So, neurofibromatosis type 1. In short, we call this NF1. This is at chromosome 17. Type 1, 17. And if you see NF2, so till here we have counted 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So this will be chromosome 22. NF1, 17, NF2, 22. Moving to next one, Angel Man Syndrome. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let me remove the C. Forget this C. Angel Man syndrome, we have one more that is Prader Willi syndrome. These two are a defect of chromosome 15. Chromosome 15. So Angel Man syndrome, chromosome 15, Prader Willi, chromosome 15, one more Marfan syndrome, chromosome 15.
Credu chat syndrome. Credu chat. So I am taking this uh, first uh, first uh, word. Credu. So if you count this credu, one, two, three, four, five. So basically, it's the deletion at chromosome five. So chromosome five, we have credu chat syndrome. As well as I told you, fab familiar adenomatous polyposis. Cystic fibrosis. If you count this cystic, one, two, three, four, five, six. This will come six. If you count this uh, fibrosis, this will come 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, this will come 8. So what is between 6 and 8? That is 7. So chromosome number for cystic fibrosis will be 7. Simple. Next one. Charcot Marie Tooth Disease. Again, you need to count the spelling. If you count this Charcot Marie Tooth, this will come 70. This will come 70. Marfan Syndrome. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, let me add an S, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, Marfan syndrome, chromosome 15. So, just we need to add an S. Tay-Sachs disease, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, Tay-Sachs is again at chromosome 15. So this is the way to remember different type of chromosome when uh, the defect or the disease which is associated with that particular chromosome. Thank you so much. Keep working hard. Bye-bye.